But if she's paralyzed, she can't really fight back. So you can't really brag about that. Oh, I'll stop. Man? How are you, mate? Yeah, good. Before we- It's good to see you. Thanks, man. Are we live? Yeah. Bullshit. I don't believe you. You got a cute little mullet. (gasps) Oh, did you get a bit excited then? Oh, I thought we had a fight. Yeah. Look, guys- we, yep. bought a, we bought a megaphone. Are we really live, Matt? Yeah, 100%. Boing, boing, boing. Fuck. Just on Foxtel, though. Episode number 21 of the Marty Mark Fully Actual Podcast. Um, and whoa, man. <laughs> Let me t- It's been... We're in fucking lockdown right now, man. In fucking Brisbane fucking lockdown right now, cunt. Yeah, really. <laughs> you guys shouldn't be here. <laughs> nah, this is essential. This is work. People yeah. can still go to work. Yeah. This as long as we're social important. distancing, we're fine. Yeah, I'm way like, away from you like, guys. Yeah, we're wearing our masks. <laughs> and by the time this comes out, hopefully the lockdown will be over and no one can get your noises out. <laughs> what did we do last week? Oh, Fuck, did we have fun? Oh, we had, we had a, a good we weekend. Had a fucking, we, we had a fun highs. little fucking Saturday, didn't we? We had some giggles galore. Did we, we go ice skating? Yeah, was that, that a thing? Shit. We went ice skating <laughs> and then we fucking went back to Jimbo Johnson's house and we got fucking blazed as fuck, right? And then at like 10 p.m., so the editor of this podcast, Connor, mm. doesn't live too far away from J- our mate James at all, right? Very close, in fact. So at 10 p.m., Michael comes up with this disgusting idea that all of us, and there's like eight of us, uh, just fucking blazed at James's house. And then we, Michael says, let's go to Connor's and just we'll all wear hoodies, dark hoodies at like 10.30 p.m. And we'll stand in a semicircle at the front of his house and just start chanting his name in per- <laughs> all in perfect unison. It gets, and it goes some quiet. And louder. it gets louder and louder. And so we did that. We went to Connor's house and we made a semicircle. We started chanting. And then like his, we could see his roommates through the window like freaking out a little bit. And then Connor got up to, you know, come out and say hi. And then we just fucking walked off. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even like, like, so it was, close the joke. We didn't talk yeah, to him. So it was Have like you spoken a, to him? Yeah, yeah. I messaged him like the next day. And, okay. But yeah, it was like, a, you know, there was no, oh, hey, uh, yeah, funny yeah. joke. Oh, hey, Ben. It was nothing like that. It was just... Yeah, we chant even... and leave. <laughs> it's good when you commit to the joke. Yeah, and just... what, what did he say? He just said it was. He was said it was amazing, and he said that his roommates were genuinely uh, a bit scared. Well, there you go. Good. That's well, well we it. did have a knife in case it got hairy. Yeah, well, you don't know these days, especially with COVID. One hundred and ten percent, man. It's deadly out there. Michael, can <laughs> you come a bit closer to your microphone? Yeah, fucking hell, um, man. Yeah. Also, fucking fun weekend. Good times. We all hung out, got high, watched some silly videos, played some FIFA. <laughs> Matthew. Oh, you lost. Me and Matthew had a battle. Was it last week? Yeah. Last week after. First one was after podcast. After and the then podcast. You quit halfway through when you were stuck. We played a best of three. I won the first two one. I, I couldn't believe it. Then he won the next two. Okay. He's better. I admit it. But he's been playing for longer. I've only been playing for a month and a but half. But you're going to keep challenging me, right? Yeah. Okay. And, and yeah. And fucking COVID. We were filming this video for the website, right? Called Is Beauty Pain? So, we had to get Botox, get a hair done, get fucking spray tan, get makeup done. All these things. So, we had all these appointments lined up throughout the whole week. We get like the first couple done. You might notice that we're a really beautiful, glowing, tanned. Yeah, it was so fucked yesterday. Hang on. So you guys have got Botox at the moment. Oh yeah, it takes like three days to kick in. Yeah, so it's not like oh, really? proper. I and think I don't know. It was yeah. But the shit thing is, like, we need all these things to be done at once so that we like so to we put all the video to be good. But half the fucking appointments got cancelled because of COVID. So we now have to table the video. We had to come up with a whole nother video idea, which is out on the website right now. Which fucking reminds me, this fucking podcast, Matt Brown, mm. is sponsored by the University of Markle. Mm. Do you understand? It's a mm-hmm. subscription website where we post weekly videos mm. with behind the scenes shit, of all our fucking shit, everything mm. we fucking do, and exclusive content that we don't post anywhere else because it's too fucked up, man. Mm. It's too fucking disgusting. Mm. Yeah. It's you are bad. fucking disgusting. The, Today the, you got pretty Michael's ideas during these website videos are fucking disgusting. It either involves shit, shit piss, piss, vomit, spit. cum, everything. You name I, it, I shoved, he mentions it. 
I shoved a chili up my ass today. I'm not that proud of it, but. He got snapped off in his asshole. That should be our right. <laughs> now, while you're listening to this, that's out, out on the website right now, all right? But, like, if you put a chili up your ass, it doesn't burn. But what I did, Matthew, because I'm smart, is I bit edges around the to chili. To expose oh. the seeds. And then I did put it up burn? my ass. And then yeah, it burned my ass. And then the tip snapped off. Then I tried off. to rip it out, snapped off. I had to shit the chili out. Oh, oh, that's fucked. Yeah, man, it was quite fucked. And also day. during during the week, I um, you handled it quite well, though. I took Michael's arcade card, right? You know those oh. arcade cards where you can accumulate points? What, his 90,000 point one? Yeah, yeah. but I'm just going to fucking use now, I've decided, I get to buy what I was going to buy, which is probably a fucking either a Switch or a PlayStation. I get to use the company card. Oh, that's fair. Because I've that's taken two years. So what Marty did is he stole my fucking... Like Kingpin arcade card, which had 90,000 tickets on it. That's a lot. That's taken over two years to accumulate. And I went right to the arcade and I fucking just bought a bucket full of lollies. And then I was like, here, kids. I had this, oh, that so megaphone. Creepy. <laughs> I had this megaphone. Yeah, and he had and yeah, fucking it, it tan was, all over it. It was fucking creepy. <laughs> and I, we'd just gotten spray tan and I was wearing a white shirt. So I look fucked. So I give, yeah. and the kids just go nuts. They fuck it. They're all gone. And then I give out some, a, a, a Nintendo Switch or something. What shit. I wanted. So what? How much was that? Because I thought they were expensive. It's the PlayStation that's. Expensive. No, I forget. I, man, it was all just a fucking blur. All right. Okay. I'm glad that you enjoyed spending my. Yeah, tickets. and then and then and I came home and well. you were all sort of alright with it. Well, not really. I was not happy at all. Oh really? But oh, I'm sorry. gonna just fucking use the business card to buy totally what I want. Misread that. Then. And I it's not as fun. Happy like, with that. It was so cool when you'd go to the arcade and you'd fucking get another few thousand tickets and you'd see it build up. It's like collecting shit. Michael likes you enjoy saving it. things. And now he you've likes, ruined it. He likes saving now, gollies. Well, how many have I got left? How many tickets do you reckon? Oh, man, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Well, it does to me. I was doing a selfless deed. You would have been selfish and bought something for yourself. Well, they're my tickets. I, of course I'd use yeah, them for myself. So I thought, you know what? These poor kids, right? They're fucking starving. They're out here. They're, they're fucking, Western children on a fucking school holiday a at a car cave. A lot of them were fat. And I thought, man, these kids need a bit of bright in their day, cunt. I, I said that to them. I said, you cunts need to be fucking smartened up, you fucking... Oh, some of them were all fucked looking, cunt. Yeah. There's some fucked looking kids out there and I fed them with fucking sugar and they were ruthless. They weren't even polite about it. They would grow handfuls and there'd be kids with armfuls of lollies trying to go back for more. <laughs> and I let that, I let it happen. There were smaller children on the fringe got nothing. And all the fat, strong kids got all of the fucking lollies. I don't care. I did a good thing. You are selfish. <laughs> It fucking it doesn't sound like it sounds like you just helped out all the fuckwit head kids and oh, all it's, the- just, it's biology man what are you gonna do about it man you go out into the wild it's the same thing cunt what are you gonna tell the smaller lion or oh, here bro here's a sympathy stake no the small lion dies and that is how this species survives well, the fat strong kids will keep us humans thriving long after you've died from a brain tumour fuck that got deep <laughs> Fuck that got deep. But right. anyway, Michael likes saving shit. He's got his golly bottle. A lot of comments we saw from the golly oh, bottle. I've got to get it. Oh, fuck. We also got to mention like Manscaped. Flies. Before we get into the oh, golly yeah. bottle, in between talking about golly bottles. Uh, we're Keep also, it. Don't disturb it. Yep. We're also sponsored by Manscaped. All right. So Manscaped.com. We have a discount code, fully actual 20. If you want to buy any male grooming shit, like they've got really good shavers. You can shave your balls, you, all sorts of cool shit. Okay. Just go to their website, Manscaped.com. And if you see any shit that you think is cool, you can have just 20% off simply by entering fully actual 20. Okay. Fully actual 20. It's a new discount code. All right. Do you understand? Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, great. All right, Manscaped. Awesome. Thank you very much, Manscaped. Fucking legends. Here's the golly bottle. Don't disturb oh, it. I don't the want to even... Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm not going to let you fucking touch it, okay? Because you're going to open it and you're going to pump push the air all, out pump the air out and it's going to smell. Look, there are flies on top. Yeah, the flies have started going in. And I'm showing this to you guys. Yeah, slowly disturb it. Turn, yeah, look at that. That's I don't know if you, you can't see on s- Spotify, obviously, but Whoa. very. I don't know what color that is. I've never seen that color before. 
like the bottom stuff, the sediment at the bottom. Fuck, man, it is. Oh, that, I made that. It That's looks like me. lift. Soft drink. You, you should pour that. Oh. I can't even say it without gagging, cunt. Oh. If that any of that ever ends up on me, by the way, because I've seen a lot of you fucking cheeky dogs trying to get Michael or trying to get me to drink it or Michael to pour it on me, you will be bald within a week. Okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'll, you won't get it. I'll keep it for myself. Also, Matthew, I just realized, could you just open the washing machine up oh, just so it's and, and hang the washing out, Matt? And then get started in the kitchen after. For fuck's sake. Thank you. Still hasn't done it. Sorry about it. The him. kitchen's fucked, man. Yeah, well... Yeah. Well, Matt. I don't think it's his responsibility, but... Anyway, what are we talking about? Um, the golly bottle. Yeah, I will not fucking put it on you. I'm just going to keep it. It's my fucking artifact. It's yeah. my relic. Yeah, anyway, we've been... The, it. We saw our, fir- our first ever podcast over 1,000 comments, like two podcasts ago. That was l- last... No, last, one last week. But the, so the fucking... 19. Everything's just fucking going up, boys. Keep it going. If you if you can't subscribe to the website, that, that's fine. Okay? To- I wouldn't subscribe to us. All right? But what I would do, if I even liked the podcast slightly, I would give it a like... If you it can do it right now, like if you're watching, if on you your want phone, this to continue, like it, like it, and, and just comment the word comment or something like that. Okay, just something simple like that, just so we know that you guys love us. Because if we don't get that support, then we we sort we of, crumble. Yeah, we like cr- we crumble into the dust, cunt. And we've done this is 101 podcast now, and I'll tell you what, there's a fucking bottle of golly on the table. There's some fucking f- foot skin. We've got, yeah, toenail. There's still probably a bit of cum, but most of that went on my arm. And there's the German cards. So, there's a great episode coming around for you fucking dogs, right? We've got PO unboxing. We've got the German cards. We've got a fucking prank call with Arnold fucking fine cunt. And we've got some questions. If you want your question answered, I know sometimes even though your, t- your question is like the most liked, we might not, you might be like, oh, fuck, they didn't answer my question in the following podcast. It's probably because we've given a really fucked up answer to it. So just ask it again. And if it gets to the top again, then we'll, then we'll fucking answer it again. Okay. And we'll try to answer not in a fucked up way so that Connor doesn't have to edit it out. Matthew? We have answered a few questions before. So we get a couple of the same. That's through. also true. Sometimes if- But I usually qu- just answer them in the comment. Yeah. Yeah. And fucking Maddie, will you you want to fucking have a chat to Matt? Go to the fucking comments, come. We've also got this in case I have ga- gas. I've been saving the gas in me guts, so hopefully we'll be Why able isn't to- it here yet? Yeah, I don't know, man. I was like fighting before to hold everything in. Can you jump or something? I don't know. I'm not going to force it, but it will happen. Okay, okay. I can feel the rumbling. Something is happening. Happening. <laughs> happening. <laughs> anyway, Matt, you fucking pig, man. You are a fucking disgusting fuck, dude. No, we're what? coming round to it. Oh yeah. Remember, we thought. I think it takes guts. It does fucking take, it, scary. The things you've done, yeah. Look, I will admit, it's a gutsy move, man. And it's like- you, it, you, You've got big, big old brown balls, cunt. Who would you rather? A mate who is fucking- like, Honest? Boring and doesn't do that? Or a mate that does that, then you get to hear the stories? Yeah, I guess. Well, you, you haven't like- I guess you haven't like crossed the line physically yet, except for when you, it did, you flick did and calm, I guess. Flick, yeah, that was. And there has been some, didn't he like. Yeah, to be honest, yeah, you've really broken some really <laughs> s- sort of severe laws, man. <laughs> severe <laughs> laws. <laughs> but um, anyway, look, the, let's, just, let's just not comment. You're a changed man, I think. I haven't seen you do this for a long time. It's all water under the bridge, okay? It's just hard to hear that you've done these I'm, things. No, I'm all for it now. I'm coming around. I'm not all for it. You around. keep telling people things about me. Look, Matt, I'm just reading <laughs> reading from the diary, okay? So, please, please come on. Calm down. <laughs> stop, st- stop the silly mind games. <laughs> diary entry number 121 from Michael Corey Brookhouse. <laughs> Today I took my pet maggots to the park. I have over 300 and I let them play on dead animals, I find. A family walked past and I heard the mother tell the kids to walk quickly past me. My maggots are my family. (laughs) (laughs) You go fucking find corpses for your maggots and pick them off and take them home. Yeah, pet maggots Mm. could be cool. And then you turn into flies, have a little 
I can see you doing that. Yeah. Instead of like you. an ant farm, have a fucking maggot farm, cunt, and just put fucking roadkill in there, cunt. How long does it take for a maggot to turn into a fly? Great question. Why don't you start a maggot farm? Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Diary entry number 94 from Marty. Today, I had to wear the same school uniform for the 12th day in a row because we still don't have any running water at my house to wash the clothes. There's holes in my school shorts. And so I put a finger in the hole and ripped it so you could see my underwear. Then I got in trouble for not having appropriate uniform. Then I got in trouble from dad when I got home because I got in trouble at school. He yelled at me in German. It was a pretty good day. (laughs) 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 (laughs)
I watched it float down on top of them. I held back my laughter by biting my bottom lip as hard as I could. I bit so hard that blood began gushing into my mouth. The couple stood and tried to locate where the foam had come from. All they saw was my cup and I acted as confused as them. You're that freak from school, aren't you? Said the boy. I had been recognized. I launched into action and threw my ass foam into his face. It blinded him and the slut started screaming. I too started screaming and sprinted home backwards. I always fall in love with the sluts. I hope one day she can see I was only trying to help her. Now, on to the next. (laughs) Oh my god. I'm not sure that's medically possible, but... Pierced your fucking hand with your... Pierced your skin with your nail. That's fucking like... That's like, angry. I can feel my fingernails in my palms when I do that. So, yuck, man. That's a lot of anger. You don't have <laughs> that anymore? <laughs> <laughs> questions. Uh, let's move on to some questions, okay? Let's try and forget about that. I loved it. That's fucking cool. Anal fizzing? I've never... Yeah, anal fizzing sounds hard. That guy did sound like a dick, though. Like, typical, like... Jock Wayne. He was boy. Bullying. I'm pretty sure he was bullying you. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Creamy anal fizz. <laughs> Can you... You should fill a oh. bottle with it. Two. 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 What would happen? You should start keeping your oh my loads, God, your loads in a bottle. I thought you were going to put See, your loads hard in a bottle. To, yeah, it's hard to fucking... Why don't you just add them to that? Well, you get a funnel... Get a funnel and put it in a bottle and blow into the funnel. And then let's see how much cum you can get together after a year. And then we'll go to a (laughs) sperm donation place, right? And you'll smuggle the bottle in. And then you go and pretend to have a wank and you come out with a fucking litre bottle full of cum. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it does say stay liquefied. Yeah, because someone sent it in and it stayed liquid in that little jar until Michael put it on his arm and rubbed it in. What about if we fucking took the golly bottle and used that? Oh, with flies in it? Something's wrong with your jizz. (laughs) Um, Do you reckon not... Combine it with that bottle, like a yeah, yes, yeah, a completely separate experiment. And then after, if we would like, we can combine them, and maybe some sort of like foam explosion, or maybe your spit will fertilize the sperm, and you'll have some sort of might little, make something. It could be a child, insects, or something. I don't know what. Makes. I just had an idea. Like, okay, a bit off topic from that. Sort of similar. It's still gross. Imagine getting a funnel, opening your asshole up, and then. You know how like whiz fizz, like sherbet? Mm-hmm. Imagine smashing that down your ass and seeing what happened. Would it, it was like uh, anal fizz. This is what sort of Well, triggered. you'd be like the flower thing. You you could fart and it'd spray in the air. Yeah, I don't think it would. Uh, what, are you so, thinking well, it would fizz or something? Would you have to put maybe water in there with it? Yeah, mate. I think so, yeah. Otherwise, maybe. it would just it would just be- uh, You'd want diarrhea. Like, because dr- is anal- What about those pop rocks? Title it, is anal fizz real? What about those pop rocks? You know those pop rocks they put in your mouth and they- I don't know if you can stick them in your and ass that, though. You get a funnel, pour like Ooh. a liter of them in and then just pull the cheeks <laughs> apart. <laughs> <laughs> and then look into the hole and see all the pop rock. Oh! <laughs> yeah, well, that's yeah, an idea. It's something it's to think idea. about. Yeah. As scientists, we're always trying to, you know, come up with new groundbreaking experiments such as... That is like something, if we want to fucking step it up, like we've done the recycling, eating shit, the corn Look, stuff. we're going on another level, you know? That I will do. Like people... One are, day. Not in the next few what, months. What did the cunt get the Nobel Prize for last year? Some fucking gay fucking disease cure shit, right? Some of the shit that we've done, they don't even fucking look at because it's not fucking peer reviewed and there's no fucking scientific fucking mumbo jumbo behind it, cunt. Yeah. But like, we just fuck out and go, go, we fuck out and go and do the groundwork and it's do on the fuck, video. We do the fucking science experiments for real and we get fucking no fucking recognition from the cunt. We've got the video evidence. We just don't do all the theory side of shit. And we do boring. do that. We do do that, but we, we don't put that in videos because that's nerdy shit shit. Yeah, we forget. <laughs> we, we lose it a lot of the time too. We lose it. You need science journals. Yeah, maybe. We can't read or write yet, though. <laughs> yeah, we use Siri. All anyway. right, are you ready for questions or what? I was born ready, cunt. Um, the first question, actually, the highest requested question was for me. Yes. 
Um, oh, Matt Brown. Comes from Stephen Hunt. Have you thought any more about getting a pet after your encounter with the neighbor's cats? Um, I'm definitely down for pets. 100%. Oh, I don't know about that, Matt. What are, you're, what are you basing that you want another pet because... Like, she's referring to the diary entry, right? Well, yeah. you fucked that cat. And now you're saying you do want a cat. Wait, you fucked a cat? No, I, don't know if I, want a, I don't know if I want a cat, but I, I want something. You want a husky. Oh. I have wanted a husky at times. Would you rather a dog or a cat? A, a dog. dog. How come you don't have one? Well. Uh, maybe for your birthday. We'll see. All right. <laughs> if you play card dry, I might get you an eight-year-old rescue dog that's been abused its whole life. <laughs> A King Charles. It just, it just barks all night. <laughs> yeah. and, it can't, <laughs> all night. and it can't like see and shit and it yeah. bites you. Yeah, it bites you, man. It's got cysts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's oh. covered in fleas and shit, man. <laughs> Fuck off, can't. <laughs> fucking get out of here, can't. <laughs> oh, I'm, oh. I'm fucking clocking off, can't. Fucking clock. <laughs> oh, yucky, yucky. <laughs> all right. <laughs> next, requested, next most requested question was from Stephen Brown. Um, <laughs> sorry, Steve Brown. My brother. Um, apart from storming the field at the AFL Grand Final, have you guys ever been in any major trouble with the police? Yeah, we've been arrested, but not. it's never been like major trouble. Yeah. It's been... Yeah, we've been arrested for just doing dumb shit. What's the, probably the most fucking... Fuck. There was... We got fucking... The French police there got There was a bloody... Good. We used to live in a big share house and um, one of the roommates um, upstairs that we like barely spoke to... He's was, a drug dealer. Was right? a drug dealer, yeah. a, ping, a pinger dealer. So that house, I wasn't there for this, but that house got raided by cops randomly one morning and Michael had just bought a fucking half, half an, an ounce, ounce of weed. weed. Just so- bought it. And they put on... They <laughs> <laughs> fucking storm in, Mark, is getting ready for the fucking weekend, cunt. Fucking firing the bong up, cunt. And then they come in pointing guns at his face and said, give me the fucking weed, cunt. No. And shot next to him. It like, wasn't like this that. close to him. But the reason why I got done is because of the cunt upstairs and the weed was right there. If yeah. I had to hid the weed, we would have been sweet. Yeah, and then he had to go to... But, like, it's just a slap on yeah, the... Yeah, like... It's just a slap on the it, cock. Even if I did get a criminal charge for marijuana use... I don't care. Yeah. Like that's literally that means nothing to me. It's a fucking plant. Anyway, we I'm do what we want with plants. plants. Yeah, it's a fucking medicine. Just smoke weed, everyone. Next one is from Donut Films. Our guy sent us the skin from his feet. Michael's digested some of that. Uh, will we ever see Timmy and Calvin Jr. again after the recent? Yeah, so the, the Calvin Jr. This is the, he's referring to a website video for those who don't know. We did a big series, a three-part series of these two characters. And um, Calvin uh, shot himself in the last series. But it's revealed that Calvin Jr. His, he was his, is his and Timmy's love child. Mm. And he comes out. So, the, yeah, it's, it's to be continued. It's not over yet. That will never, ever be over. I don't think it'll ever be over, can't And who fucking said that the, the shot was a fatal fucking shot wound? Exactly. He, look, it looked like he shot himself, but Calvin is a very resilient psychopath. <laughs> you look fucked, man. <laughs> very resilient psychopath. Oh. <laughs> All right, keep going. Next question. I can't actually read the name because I've got it in funny. Try it. Try it, Matt. If it's letters and numbers. (coughs) Here we go. Matt's going to attempt to read the name. Excellenten Reds. Yeah, exactly. Excellenten Reds. Perfect. Uh, Do you boys ever fall in love with a teacher when you're in high school? This is quite like. Dude. Oh, there is. There's something deep. (laughs) Are you talking about Miss Arbor? Yeah. <laughs> Michael fell in love with one in high school. Primary school, not really. I was I mostly had male teachers and they all fucking hated me. Really? Oh, they didn't hate me. I was just always, it was just, oh, some of them, one in particular, but they were very old school teachers. So they're very strict and they just didn't mesh well with uh, my- Work ethic. Uh, my ADD. severe- ADD. ADD. You yeah. know, but in high school, yeah, Miss Arbor, fuck me, she's all right. Come to, to English teacher, and um, yeah, she's like she's old as fuck. So that's why Michael likes her because she's got that I'll look after you and breastfeed you <laughs> vibe. So Michael just really, hang on. Oh fuck, man. Oh please be so. Please be so. Oh. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> we like broke the frequency. Sounded Sound. like a robot fart. Sound wave. Yeah. Should we turn it down a fraction? Try and get a bit more. Was that too loud? I, I, I was... don't know. It was hard to tell. It was quite a oh, strange. Man. That worked. Alien though. sound. It worked. Yeah, I'll put it on the medium. Can you oh, guys hear me? Oh. Hello, hello. No, don't hold it. Yeah, I know. Sorry. <laughs> it worked, though, so right? close to it. Yeah. It was different. I enjoyed it. We'll, I just play, wish, we'll play it I back after. I got my hopes up with the second one and yeah. Anyway, I'll let it go. Look, look, it's there's something happening. Oh! Really? We got presents. Wait, 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 wait. Shit. It's a ha! It's a ha! Ah, oh, it's half bait! Oh, 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 my children! <laughs> that was so beautiful. That was so beautiful. Look at this oh fucking my chair, man. Look at this yeah. fucking chair. Cut. That's from Jackson when he fucking ringwormed the rings. Oh, I usually have that one. I must have swapped out at some point. <sighs> yeah, this one's <sighs> fucked too. <sighs> <laughs> oh, my children. <laughs> I was in labor then. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm ready now. We've plugged the yeah. electricity <laughs> wired. <laughs> yeah, we fixed the basement. All right, this is a bit of a long one, but it has a point. Uh, it's from Thong Boner Storm. Oh, my God, cunt. <laughs> Um, I was eating buffalo chicken dip with some pita chips when the spit bottle was pulled out last episode. Every texture in my mouth became Michael's throat sludge. I've never gagged harder in my life. But in the moments of dry heaving and struggling to keep everything I've already swallowed down and to keep what was I was currently chewing in my mouth, I had an epiphany. Question for the podcast. Why doesn't Michael pour that bottle in a saucepan on the stove and slowly boil it until it reduces into a thick paste intensifying the flavor? Oh, fuck me. Then eat some of it, spread it on toast like jam or just eat a spoonful. Put it on the website so I have nothing I have something to bat over later. Oh man. Honestly, great idea. The reason why I'm doing this is because something will come from it. This could cure something someday. Probably. If you have like skin cancer or something, it's good. Well, eat you it. don't know if like a year long worth supply of golly could cure that fucking mold. Cure anything. You like, know, if you've you got have, black sow. If you have Parkinson's, you slop a bit of that on your- You just use a bit of golly. Yeah, yeah. Parkinson's. No, no, one's, no one knows. No one can definitively say, no, that won't work because they haven't fucking done it, Matt. They haven't done it yet. So, I would be open- to doing that because that's a fucking cool idea. Look, it, if, well, there's a lot of it. You could just take a little. If little it's bit for, out. if it's for medical reasons, look, <laughs> I'll I'll watch. I think once you cook it all, like I don't know, it'd be interesting. I just don't. Mm, you'd have to use a lot of golly oh, to yeah, get. Yeah. You'd, like, you'd need like half that bottle in a small. And like system. most, of the bottle is just water. The only golly part. Wait! Oh my god, this is not good. I can feel it ripping me open. Bah! Leave me, demon! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is going to kill me one day. This will be my cause of death. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. That is heavy shit. <sighs> <sighs> Oh, anyway, fucking gollies. We'll, yeah, we'll yeah, do yeah. something with it. Gollies the cure over. cancer. <laughs> gollies cure cancer. <laughs> Your heart is just farting all over that. <laughs> Oh my god, my my fucking stomach hurt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You've got your shit, shit specks all over the mic. Does it cost much to get the foam replaced? <laughs> <laughs> nah, we can fix it up. Maybe we should put a plastic bag over it or something. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of. <laughs> 
get, a lot of my get on it. A lot of build up. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of scum. <laughs> Oh! 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 You look like you got a load of cum in your mouth, you Paul. Oh, here we go. You guys are seeing firsthand how. Oh, I can't fucking open it. I need to leave. He doesn't trust me. Shut up! Oh my. Don't even look at me when you do this. I don't want your eyes on me. Oh. Oh, that's so much. Oh, the smell. Fuck. <laughs> Whoa, fuck the room! Oh, fuck! I want to say breathe out of my mouth, but I don't want to inhale it. Look at that, the bottom's cool. There's flies on the top. Anyway, Matthew, continue with the questions. <laughs> Alright, next one is from Corey. Sponsored by Manscaped. Uh, do you guys actually want a proper tattoo like sleeve or a full leg or anything like that? I know you've talked about that. Yeah, part. I was thinking about getting some little half sleeves, but then I thought, I don't know what to get first of all. Like, I don't, know, I don't, I don't know what serious tattoos I would get. So I'd just get maybe just heaps of different cakes. Yeah, he has been saying the cakes for a while. I reckon I'm open for tattoos, but it's just you don't exactly you don't know what you want. Like, which is all right, because the other dumb ones we have, I don't mind. But you, you, you can't really see them all the time. You know what I fucking mean, can't yeah, you? Yeah, like the, the shoes, obviously. <laughs> well, that's cool. That's <laughs> like a really cool tattoo. But like, yeah, heaps of tats would be rad, but they'd have to like... Maybe we should... Good. Honestly, fuck it. Maybe we should just get like gloves tattooed on our hands and like... A shirt. Yeah. Something weird. A the other suit. thing that sort of stops me is... You know, I'm tennis coaching for 15 years. I'm I'm certain I'm going to... And I never wore sunscreen, ever. And um, I'm pretty sure I'll get skin cancers one day. And I think that the fucking... Just use the golly. Yeah, that's true. I could just use the golly potion. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to get skin cancer. And then I won't be able to see the moles. Yeah, well... I, yeah. Anyway. Fucking. Yeah, we're thinking about it, all right? Any tattoo artists who listen to our shit... Well, we'll go back to Corporate Box. They're legends. Yeah, that's true. They do anything. Well, it was... We won't mention now. They've changed it. Uh, next question is from Dane Wallen. Wallen? Uh, who got in trouble at school more as little girls, Marty or Michael? Marty would have. Did you Did you even get into trouble in primary school? Primary school... I was school captain. I've said that many times. <laughs> at least 12. <laughs> but yeah, no. Primary school, I was good. Like, I was the sort of kid that got stressed when he had homework. So, as soon as I got the homework, I would race home, get it done straight away, and then feel like I've got the weight of the world off my shoulders and, like, everything's good. <laughs> but then, like... That never did not carry on through your life, dude. <laughs> I had to fucking... To pay <laughs> bills after high school, Michael would make me call fucking the bank and shit because he didn't know how to talk to him <laughs> for years. And, like, forms and shit. Like, I just went from one extreme to the other. So, like... I went from really wanting to be good and do good and do what the teacher said to the bare minimum to just getting by and then just giving up. <laughs> <laughs> but through that, it's sort of now I've, I'm still like fucking. I remember even when we were doing our even coaching. Even forms suck now. But our coaching qualifications, you'd have to do these massive, huge fuck off assignments and I'd have to do his because he wouldn't know fucking... And my God, sometimes they took hours and hours and Michael's job was to try and keep me on task. So Michael would be sitting behind me and be like, dude, 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 please, you're getting distracted, just concentrate. And I'd be like, <laughs> start losing my fucking mind. And it's like 3 a.m. in the morning and it's, and it's due in a few hours. It got to the, uh, the point where every, because like we've been going for hours and hours and hours, every fucking 20 seconds he'd lose concentration and start flipping out. And I'd have to sit there and try and calm him. Focus on the screen. You can do this. That was a long yeah, fucking that's, night, that's, And that's how it was for me doing assignments. <laughs> so, you can, ima you can see why I procrastinated so much and left them till the night before because, like, it's just, it's a very difficult process to get through. It's a lot of sitting down. <laughs> yeah, dude, I remember that night. You were so fucked up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and my parents' bedroom was right next door. Is it the upstairs computer? Yeah, I wonder if they ever heard any of that shit. <laughs> Remember when your mum found that story? Dude, when we used to get home because Marty could never sleep, 
we'd pass out in the in the beds and then so michael and whatever other friends would be asleep <laughs> and i'd be bored as fuck so i'd just write really fucking fucked up stories similar probably to your fucked up stories matt <laughs> and i would write them back then and i'd and i'd just leave them like just leave them in michael's room not thinking you know because my mum never went into my room so i thought oh, yeah, it's safe in here no one's ever going to see this and then i fucking came over like a week later and you know, his mum was like, that story you left was so fucked. And she had read it. Yeah, dude. But she said to me, she's like, it was really severely messed up. <laughs> but the writing and the detail was unbelievable. <laughs> she's like, it, it just flowed really well. And like, yeah, the cool. grandma was incredible. Yeah. So like, yeah, it was, it's sort of catch 22. Very similar to your... Don't it's me. fucked up, but <laughs> it's art. It's fucked. And my mum read it. That sucks. And she was so hot back then. Oh, man. She was fucking... Remember? Used to have Remember? the... Yeah. Remember when she was hot? She still is. Yeah, I haven't seen her for a while. So yeah, you like, haven't seen her for years. But, but yeah, remember when she was like... Yeah, you remember. Yeah. All right. I'll try and get a hustle on because we're getting... We're getting way oh, to the back. So oh, yeah. We oh, yeah. Fucking hell, can't we? We still fully, got a bit to get through, can't yeah. Um... All right, just a couple of quick ones. Um, what was uh, from Andrew Park? Uh, what is your favorite Dirty Sanchez episode or stunt? Oh, oh like I've never seen the shotgun one, but that sounds like a fucking that's crazy. crazy. The my personal favorite's probably just because it's I want to try it. Is the how they pranked Pritchard by convincing him that he made a Guinness World Record? He was going for the record, yeah, which is a hundred paintball bullets to yeah, the body, something. And he was going to try and attempt to beat it to get into. So he'd do it in like shots of ten. So they do ten, and he'd celebrate and be like, "That hurt." And then they do another ten, another ten. They get to like a hundred, and he's got like four more shots to go. And then they go bang, 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 and he's just so happy celebrating, covered in sores. And he, Fucked. and then like later, they fucking convince him. They tell him that it was all made up, <laughs> that he wasn't even going for a. So world like, it's record. a prank on a gnarly, gnarly stunt. And if you look at the damage that he had after, like, he literally had lumps like this big on him. Like the the swelling was incredible. So that. That I'm just like, wow, well done. Also, Pancho in the in the movie when he got the liposuction without any fucking anesthetic. That's fucked up. And he was just lying there screaming and tears flying out of his fucking gullet. And then they fucking drink the liposuction. That is like like who thinks of that, man? Yeah. I think you answered Sabrina's question in there as well. She asked, um, have you ever thought about redoing some? So redoing the paintball one would be your answer. Uh, yeah, that's my dream. That's what I want to do. do the mom. liposuction. I'll do the live suction one, okay? You want me to do it? I'll do it. Fuck that. I, w I could never do that. I'd drink the liposuction, but I would never fucking- All right, well, there we go. You would do that. Yep, I'll, we'll book it in tomorrow. After, yeah, we'll get another fake tan and some more Botox. Oh, yeah. We can make it part of that video or something. Is beauty pain. <laughs> yes, it fucking is. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that corner, starting now. And we're back in, Matthew. We just had to cut a question and we're not allowed to say what it was. <sighs> anyway, next question. I'm just going to leave. I'm sorry to tell you guys that. You're probably like, fuck you guys. We should have like, yeah, uncensored one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we should. Our careers would be over if yeah, any of that should got leaked. Am I right, Matthew Brown? You <laughs> fucking <laughs> sick man. <laughs> um, all right, last last question. Here we go. Yeah, all right. I've been going for a while. I've um, been... Last Holy question fucking... is from Sexy Tuna Legs. Um, Michael and Marty. Do you ever get uh, nightmares from the, the day with the storm drain? Like, no, do you get nightmares no. about it when you think about it? No, but fun fact, ever since then, that's when I... I, haven't, I don't know if I snored for a while, but that's when I started officially snoring after that. Yeah, that yeah. night. Because I used to sleep on the floor in Michael's bedroom when we were teenagers. <laughs> and he started fucking... And his, his tonsils were like... Oh, they looked like fucking... A, a fucking... A, baby bird right before it breaks out of the shell that's what his tonsils look like remember? <laughs> really? yeah that looks fucked cunt do you not remember that no they were massive me. and that's why he started snoring because there's barely any air getting into your gullet so i must have a, i had a <laughs> lot of river water oh yeah cunt you had fucking heaps of fucking there was so much poison and shit in there cunt <laughs> all right there we go i don't have nightmares but i snore now do you have nightmares from any of the shit we've done not from... I don't really get proper... Nightmares. I don't dream, eh? 
Like I, I just, I, I like, I just sit in bed, my eyes are wide open. And I'm just sitting up and I just looking around and then sun comes up, day starts all over. I, I, another fun fact from when we were kids, whenever during the night, who's mighty pretty much lived at my house, whenever I was like, I'd awake at night, I just fucking have a glance over and Marty would either be like, just looking at me like this. <laughs> or his arms are up in the air. Yeah. And he's just like pretending to be asleep like this. Yeah, sometimes I would do it for so long, just in case you would wake up. <laughs> Imagine all the times I did it. You're just lying there with hours, sore arms. Hours wasted. <laughs> Very good. Very good. All right. Next segment is... The German section. Deutsch, uh, Deutsch, uh, Deutsch. What's the jingle again? Dimensions and for right. uns. Dimensions and for uns. No, it's um, Ach du lieber Deutsch, uh, Deutsch. Oh, yeah. Ach du lieber Deutsch, Deutsch. Ach du lieber Deutsch. Something All right, like so that. Michael's going to attempt to read German. And, and I'm going to hide Marty's my little eyes us. like that. God, this smells like shit now. <laughs> Fuck, man. I was been wondering. <laughs> shit crystals embedded into the foam oh fucking shit man okay here we go transform to German oh you fucking oh. Okay. it's just I've got to fart too boys just, just, just out it's literally just, just there keep doing your thing boys It's mayhem. It's mayhem here. We, the phone's about to die. Farts are coming. We need the extension cord. <laughs> we're, we're being German. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck. I got to morph back into German. Oh, all good. All right. I'm gonna try. Man, that was stressful. Oh, Whew, fucking hell. The phone was gonna yeah, die. It's all a, good. That, that's a, just a taste. Leave all that in, Connor. That's just a taste for you guys. Some of the insanely stressful things James that we have to deal with. Yeah. Fuck. Just man. Talk about that. COVID. Fucking hell. Fucking James just hit my light. We thought that was gonna break. <laughs> People are complaining about this fucking COVID. I'll tell you what. It's unbelievable. All right. Gillesp, Dian, let Ben in Volen, Zizen. That's not any German there. Is that gibberish to you? Yeah, yeah. That, well, you know, the, the dialect is correct and the intensity is <laughs> close to being correct. <laughs> but the content itself, the wording, is not right at all. Like it's, oh! <laughs> <laughs> like right. it's actually quite difficult to understand. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Okay, you go. This is how you read it, okay? Genieß dein Leben and fallen surfen. I don't know what that last word is. But basically it means enjoy your life to the fucking fullest. And that is true for everyone. That's outstanding. Very motivating, that. I've got goosebumps. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see if you can improve this time. Hot D on and stay! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hot D on and stay! It's either stay or stay at the end. I don't know. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> Let me have a look. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, there's some hard words to say. Those are tongue twisters, that's for sure. <laughs> Fuck, Let man. Let me have a go. Okay, you go. Halt die Ohren steif! Halt die Ohren steif! 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 Halt die Ohren steif! So stay or stay was wrong. It's steif. Which means hold the ears stiff. Which means stay strong. I stay brave. Halt die Ohren steif! Germans would say as they marched into battle. Man, I have no idea what this next one is. Like, this is just fucking nonsense. Just try your best. That's all anyone can ever ask of you. <laughs> and then you have nothing to worry about or fear in this life. Or the next. Oh, oh Mrs. Motivational fucking... What's this one? I feel like I feel like an emo yeah, teenager. Yeah, yeah. Like, are you a girl or a boy? Though I'm not yeah. sure. Like, I'm thinking chick. I am. Don't genderize me. Your name's I'm Dakota. I'm both genders. Yeah, Dakota. That that is Dakota. I am all genders and a pig. <laughs> Fucking coward. <laughs> Dakota. All right. Ich wusk 
The Wasp! <laughs> it says was at the end, but I just know that there's going to be some weird way that you say it, so I put Wasp. Because I know that was I had a in German mm. would be Wasp, okay, so I reckon. Ich wünsche dir was. Ich wünsche dir was. Matthias, ich wünsche dir was. Verstehst du mich? Hmm. Ich wünsche dir was. Ich wünsche dir was. What's it mean? It means I wish you what? Which means I wish you anything. I wish you well. I wish. Why not say I wish you well then? I wish you Merry Christmas. It's like so many examples I've given you where. Yeah, I know. But just. Can't translate literally sometimes. Do you know what I mean? It's just not how the world works. All right. I it's get just, it. It's just our culture. Do you okay. know what I mean? <laughs> okay, it's just how we are. Like, it's just how we talk. And we're different. And that's okay. Everyone's different. And that's okay. We're all okay. <laughs> and different. Okay. I gotta remember this character. I feel like there's a good prank called a domino Dakota. to Domino's. Dakota. What do you guys use like? Actu- do you guys girl. use like actual meat, or like, is it like meat-free meat? Yeah. Is, if you guys like- use meat, that's like um, destroying the fabrics of our universe. Dakota's like the fucking social justice warrior of the year. Like it's gonna be so good, dude. Like I've like read like so many books about it. Yeah. And like you don't know what you're fucking talking about. You fucking bald fucking cunt. <laughs> bald you're pig. talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god. Let's open some gifts. Hey, you know what? I cut my hair last night and you guys haven't said anything. Yeah, it's yeah. always nice and short now. It looks far better now that you've shaved your head. Like you are bald. You're lucky that you look good. Ding, but it looks better. You got a good head shape. You're lucky. I was bald. Which you fucking we'll see will it. be one day. We'll see. Whatever. Looks P.O. Box matter. time. Next segment, the PO unboxing, where you guys send in anything that you want. We get sent anything. Any bodily fluids, shit you find on the ground. Send us a rock. Send us some <laughs> grass from your backyard. Send us your mother's watch. Anything you want, and we open it live on the podcast. And that's what we're going to do now. We have three gifts to open all right and this one is from ug i don't know if he wants his name read so i'm just not going to oh this has a tear in it already yeah yeah i did that earlier i couldn't help myself i put a little tear in it to have a little sniffy sniff all right it's a big package well not that big but it's a medium-sized package well let's see what we got here eh? (laughs) we have package within a package a, a package within the package that's never good Last time there was a. Oh my god, what Uh-oh. is this? Uh oh. Sil. Can you Google what. This is what I'm talking about. Sildenafil is. Hang on. Oh, it sounds drug related. It sounds like a, like a dick pill, maybe? How do I spell it? S I L D E N A F I L. Sildenafil Sandoz. Ooh, One, I like that dose. One hundred milligrams. I think it's Viagra. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, really? So <laughs> Denafil sold under the brand name Viagra, among others, is a medication used to treat erectile dysfunction and polynary. Oh. And then he sent in a very detailed drawing of a dick, a veiny dick and balls. Oh shit! Do we have to like fucking blur this? Well, wait, no, because they get Fucking demonetized YouTube. anyway. Yeah, true. All right, there it is. And it says Rhonda was here. It's a very good drawing, very detailed. So thank you for that dick drawing. And thank you for the Viagra. I'm sure this will come in handy. Like, fuck, I'm not, yeah. I would have preferred, like, Valium. Yeah, of course. Of course. But, you know, <laughs> any drug is good. And at the end of the day, like, we live in a first world country. And there are so many people in the world that would kill for this. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's probably want more than that. Like, maybe some corn? Yeah, all you need is one. Job done. And you and your family can survive. Yeah, Do you want any... They'll come in handy. When you have sex oh, with actually, your yeah, next me, prostitute, I reckon, <laughs> I reckon you'll be wanting one of them. When you have sex with a prostitute. <laughs> Again? Can you open it? Yeah, sure. 
Oh. We've got another one. People just send us drugs now. You fucking can't. You have outsmarted me, package. This Perhaps I use brute like, strength, huh? This feels like it's got something in it. Yeah, dude, it's so hard. It's not. Yes! Fuck you, package. Maybe mine will just belong on the fucking table. Hmm? Yeah, yours, yeah. All I'm right. not helping you with yours now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, beautiful bracelet. It doesn't fit me. There it is. Thank you for that. <laughs> Fucking Dakota's a bitch. Um, all right, yeah. Next one. This is sort of on. Okay. What do we have? It's a letter full of something. This is from Martin. Oh no, Martin Mix. I think that means to us. Yeah, I think we sense. might have another code here. Which Michael cracked that other code. Oh, we'll that got get to that me. after. I, I hope it's another code. Michael loves doing the codes. Oh, a bunch of stickers. Oh. What's that? To Marty and Michael, this. I recently found your YouTube channel. You make me laugh. Keep up the good word, good work. Kind regards, Adam from Wollongong. P.S. Please use rolling papers thoughtfully. Oh, fucking legend! Thank, Thank you, you, Adam. Very much, Adam. You're an absolute legend, and we will definitely be using those. With some cool stickers too. Does that say Carindale? Wait, you wait. You fucking wait. It's my turn. That was a that was a weak that one. That was weak. That weak was... as piss. But I'm glad you're trying. Like it's good. They're back. I'm happy that you're back <sighs> to normal. What's wrong with me, man? So yeah, we got some cool <sighs> stickers as Fuck. well. Thank you, Adam. My farts have been all damaged. They got gaps in them again. <laughs> gaps in me guts. Lots of stickers from Adam. What's he got here? Supreme. He's got some indigenous stickers. We've got some... Uh, Skull and bone. guitar shop. The, the guitar shop in La Trobe Terrace. Rip in, Curl. In Brisbane here. Chuck that on your car. Yeah, we've got a, uh, a sticker Matt? of a kid. <laughs> sticker of a kid, Matt. You might like that. <laughs> put that on your fridge or in your fucking... Wherever you put your fucking weird shit, your fucking locks of hair and your bloody bottles of spit. No, it's me. I've got the bottles of spit. No, you got a golly bottle, brother. That's <laughs> far more like... That's legal <laughs> alright okay yeah back to last week someone sent us a code I decoded it <laughs> this one was shorter thank you I don't know if it was the same person yeah, we this is get. the message we got dear Marty and Michael I would have sex with David Hasselhoff and give him a blowjob alright see that's good because at least it's random the other one was like a fucking story if you're gonna send them in though I don't know. Give us like vital information on yeah, science. Give, give and us stuff. some. Give us something, man. You want to fucking fuck David Hasselhoff? Okay, Marty. You just pissed that off. took him four hours to decode, right? He spent. He was, four, he was fucking calling me at three a.m. stressing hard, I was crying <laughs> because he didn't know how to fucking read or do the code. So <laughs> he had to learn how to read. You know, do it again. D d send in another code because <laughs> it's, it's good practice for Michael. But write a better message than that, you know? Tell us something about yourself, maybe. I don't know. A random fact. Have you been stalked by Matt Brown? What are you writing about that? Sure, we have many people who have been stalked by Matt Brown. I know five myself. <laughs> you know, next, right. next question. <laughs> <laughs> and the questions are done. Oh, 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 fuck. <laughs> Dakota, man. Okay. Now, next segment. Last segment. Last segment. Oh, no, no, because you've got prank call. But last segment before prank call is... That's it. Oh, wait. That is fucking Are you fucking segment. with me? Michael just pranked everyone pranked listening. That everyone, is the end. Man. Don't forget to put in a fucking cheeky comment before we pass on to the prank call, right? Leave a cheeky comment, give a little thumbs up and... We're all happy and there's no talk of fucking killing ourselves or and we're smiling and everything just keeps moving along, okay? Um, oh, fine. fucking... You know what we fucking forgot? Oh, the, that's why. Yep. Oh, the hunt. No, not the hunt. The hunt can wait. Nothing's happened. Shol, Shannon Noel, what the fuck, man? Did we all... It's so hard to get a hold of. 
Um, also had some but, good suggestions. But what was I just about? Song. What was I just about oh, to fucking shit. talk about? Oh, that's you were like, oh, that's why. Right. You know what we fucking fucking Matt's OnlyFans. Oh yeah. We need oh, to. No. We completely forgot to start that. So we're gonna start that. Definitely, we'll start it next week at Toka. Okay, I'll have a sit down oh, with you, no. and we'll start it then. All right. So it's definitely gonna be up and running by <laughs> next week. Okay. And we saw some comments. People saying three to four dollars. I think that's fair, Matt. For some se- sexually suggestive photos, I'll, from you. I'll be in it too. So it's not yeah, just yeah, it's, not, it's not just Matthew, and we don't Brown. even have to name it Matthew Brown. It could be like Matthew f- Gregory or something. No, I don't <laughs> we, want it to be my name. We can call it the fully actual. Well, why, don't you, why don't we leave fans. it to the yeah. fans? You guys come up with a porn star name for Matt, and the most likes comment will be Matt's new porn star name, and we can also write comments. Oh really? Yeah, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well we'll, well, we'll think of a team name for it, but we will all feature in it. Yeah, but we'll let fully them decide. Fully actual makes sense. Let let the people decide, I the think. Fully if it's, actual OnlyFans. It's fans. an OnlyFans for the people. Let the people decide what it's called and how much it is. And so far, we got $3.50 per month. I'm glad this is at the end of the podcast. Yeah, it's so annoying. I can't believe we forgot. Yeah. Yes, he's forgotten. See, that's what we could have done yesterday. We could have started Matt's OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah. but you did Anyway, oh, missed opportunity. Uh, it's okay. We'll um, we'll be better. We'll uh, learn from our mistakes and we'll um, we'll grow from it. Sure. Boz has had an absolute gut sure. full. Yeah, Bosley's so hungry. He's so pissed off. God, he's always standing at doors now. It's so he's looking annoying. at James like oh my God. A, he could be a meal. It's like it's like I fucking wake up and he just stands at the door oh. expecting me to take him out. And he'll stand there from when I wake up to when I go to bed. He He's had it too fucking good. He's spoiled and now he fucking expects... <laughs> More. He's such a pushy. He's cunt. looking at me and then he's looking at James. Bozzy. He's so upset. Bozzy. He's sh- looking like a fuckwit with his new haircut. Bozzy. <laughs> he looks like a lion. His lion's tail's wagging. Bozzy, come here. All right, the final segment. We are going to do a prank call, of course. And this week, Arnold Fine is back. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. I bet you are, mate. Yeah. <laughs> you and Arnold. I love that guy. You got a thing for him. He's fucking fine. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to call a pet resort in Brisbane and see a, they look after dogs, I'm pretty sure. Although it is a pet motel. If they do look after pigs, I'm just going to have to just make up some shit that the pig's just really difficult or something. But anyway, so I'm going to call this pet resort and just um, see if I can get them to look after my large pig. Okay? Yeah, maybe like it's a fucking 150 kilo pig. Yeah, and it's highly aggressive. And horny. And it has... Um, it's humped your wife. And it's got um, two legs. One on the front, one on the back, and needs constant help walking. <laughs> but the legs are in the center. Yeah. Where the, like, it's in between where its legs would normally go. <laughs> Come on. Uh, hello, my name uh, Arnold Fine. You uh, look after uh, animal, yes? Okay, I have one large animal. I need uh, maybe three, four day. It's not a dog. I have uh, one large pig uh, that I would like to uh, maybe look after three, four day. While uh, yeah, sorry. one large pig, I uh, have a, tr- a large pig farm. I am uh, selling pig, okay. and I need someone to uh, look after pig for three, four days while I am we, out of we town. Only take, we only- we only take dogs and cats. Yeah, I understand. My my pig, uh, he live he live with dog. Okay, he live maybe three four other dog. He behave like a dog. He sometimes even look like a dog. He a large looking animal, and he will be fine to do all the dog things. Sometimes dog sometimes I uh, feed him dog food uh, for dinner too. So yeah. you can. Fi- Unfortunately, we only strictly take dogs and cats at our facility. Look. Uh, I uh, I think it's uh, strange I ask, I know, but um, what if uh, maybe I pay double or triple money and uh, offer maybe a bit more money so you can uh, look after my pig? It's a very gentle pig, okay? It's a, I send you a photo. Do you want a photo of the pig? My wife is sick. 
My wife is sick and I cannot find anybody to look after the pig. The pig is at home and it cannot be walked. He is getting hungry and my wife is sick. Lying in bed, she put a vomit on the floor and my pig... Mm, I know it's a hard time for me and I do not know uh, what to do and I need uh, your help, you understand? And so I pay... I'm really sorry, unfortunately we only do... Dogs and cats at our facility. We don't. We don't take any other animals. Do you have a cage? Do you have dogs only? Yes. Yeah. Well, my pig. He. You put in cage. You put outside. You put in back corner. No one even see. You put the cage in the back corner and where the bushes don't maybe. Me you put him in there. Unfortunately, I, I'm unable to take your pet. I'm sorry. Uh, but well, just wait. I have. A, uh, I can. Surely we can t- think about something here. My pig. He, I, I, he I live I with can't. dog. I Do you understand? Yes, he live with dog. He he think he dog sometimes. He dog. Sometimes he bark. Pig, dog, same thing. My wife is it. sick. My wife is sick. Pig, dog, same thing. It is the same animal. The name is different, okay? Different spelling. It's still three letter. Pig, P-I-G, dog, D-O-G. Okay, same letter, same amount of, uh, same thing. Yeah, the same thing, a pig it's dog. It is the same animal. I have uh, done uni uh, vet, and they say pig dog, uh, same thing. They say that in the book there, in the Russian book I read, uh, say pig dog, same thing. Unfortunately, I, I can't take him. I'm sorry. Okay, what if I put him to sleep? Okay, I put him to sleep. I have, I have a drug. I have a drug. My wife administered drug to my pig. She drag him in. Okay, you put him in cage. Put him in back corner, and uh, leave him there. Forget about him. Forget about. Just put don't a even bucket of water. Don't put even bucket feed. water. Don't worry. Feed. He sometimes three days no food. No big deal. Okay, You're and uh, I come in three days time and. Uh, I just come collect and you make uh, three times money for me borrowing your cage. I'm really sorry we're unable to take him, like I said. Is there uh, someone maybe I can talk to, maybe manager or something? There must be something we can work on. My pig is already in the back of my truck. I'm halfway to your place already. I can pop you through to a facility, but they're going to say exactly what I'm telling you. Are you from Brisbane, Melbourne, Sydney, or Canberra? Brisbane. I'm in Brisbane, North Brisbane. I'm going to pop you through to Brisbane, all right? But they're going to tell you that we can't take him, but I'll pop you through anyway. Well, uh, we see, okay? We see. I have a lot of money, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you for calling here. Pet Hotels, Brisbane, this is Lisa. Oh, hello, Lisa. I uh, speak to someone uh, just now, a lady. She said, uh, uh, it's okay for me to bring uh, my pig to your uh, facility. She said, uh, normally uh, they only do dog and cat. But she said, uh, for uh, they can make exception for me. And uh, if it's okay if I bring my pig uh, to your facility... But uh, my pig, uh, he live with dog. He live with dog. He behave like dog. I feed him uh, pig food. He does not bite. He play with dog. He play with my kids. And I tell the girl, I say, um, put him in cage. Put him in cage out the back somewhere. Leave him out the back, flicking around in the back. And she say, okay. She say, uh, tell what you tell me to uh, facility in a Brisbane, uh, North Brisbane. And uh, now I talk to you, Lisa. So uh, I think uh, it's okay if I bring my pig to uh, your facility um, tomorrow, maybe 5 p.m. I'm, I'm sorry, no, we do not take any other pets other than cats or dogs. The uh, lady uh, just said to me, she said um, that she, that you, that it's okay if I bring pig as long as it's only three, four days. And she said uh, that she will not be able to treat my pig like the dogs. And I said that okay. And I also say to her, I pay uh, three times the normal amount. Hmm? That's uh, very, very generous for me, for you to put my pig in cage, and uh, you just put it outside in the back somewhere. Don't even worry about it. Just put it in the cage or something like that. My wife is sick. Right. 
Um, I, I'm not too sure, yeah, why she, we told you that, unfortunately, because we only have care plans in place for cats and oh, dogs at our facility. Mm, but uh, I uh, do vet for uh, at uni, okay, and uh, I read a book that they say um, dog pig, uh, same thing. A dog and a pig is uh, the same animal. They look a uh, little different, yes, and uh, but uh, they're the same thing. A pig had a three-letter word, a dog, three-letter word, pig, dog, it's the same thing. If you uh, put them together to live, they both uh, behave exactly the same. Two, I've seen a pig and dog in the wild playing and flicking around in the back out there. I've seen it. I've seen pig and dog living together. And uh, the woman before, she said, yes, okay. If you've done uni at the vet, which I have, that uh, it's okay. Right, okay. No, I understand. I grew up with, with pigs and dogs mm, as mm, well. Same thing. It's the same thing. But unfortunately, policy, we will only board cats and dogs. What if I... Um, like look, uh, my, my pig... I, I can make it um, look like dog, okay? What if I um, put dog hair on it? Uh, I put a uh, color, color it brown or something like that, bl brown or black or something, and bring it in. Uh, we put a little fur on its uh, hoof, on its uh, head, and it will look like a dog. And no one knows the difference. I don't understand what the problem is. Plus, you make uh, three times the money. Hmm. Yeah, it does. It does sound like a, it would be a good option. But the pig is so friendly. Just, the pig is we so just friendly. Can't accommodate your pig. I'm sorry. You will love the pig. He's a name of flying it. He's a name of flying it. You love the pig. He come over. He lick you. He does not bite. He play with other dogs. He'd never seen cats before, so I don't know about a cat. But he play with other dogs. He eat a dog food. He eat a dog food, and uh, sometimes he bark like a dog. I've seen it. I've seen him bark like a dog, and uh, my wife is sick. My wife cannot look after the pig, so I will have to. Uh, I'll have to uh, shoot it. I'll have to shoot it if I can't uh, find someone to put it in a cage. Right. Have you tried contacting any rural vets? Uh, no, the vet always say, oh, so much money, the vet always say, can take my money, so I call you first, and my wife is sick. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I, we just can't help you there, we cannot board any other animals other than cats and so dogs, as per our, anyway. our hand rub policy, you anyway. your best bet for any sort of livestock boarding would be a, like, a livestock vet. Okay, okay. Look, I am, I'm nearly uh, at your facility uh, now. I bring pig in, okay? I have a pig in the truck. He is sitting down like a child with a seat belt. I bring him in. You see him. You see him like, look like a dog. I tell him to sit and stay and you see how much like dog he is. Because pig, dog, same thing. And then you uh, can decide for yourself, okay? I bring him in for you to see yourself. Hmm? It, it, I understand what you're saying, but it's not my decision, unfortunately. It's oh. a hand rub policy. Uh, who will make a decision? Maybe I, maybe I speak to someone who can help me. Hmm? Maybe who the owner I can speak to. All I need just show you a photo of my pig. He look like a dog. It's unbelievable. Sometimes he bark. Sometimes he bark in the backyard for food. Oh, goodness me. I, I don't even know what to say to you right now. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Um, I know a strange request, but um, I bring him in and you see his, uh, his behavior. Is it just like a dog? It's uh, very strange. He uh, means a lot to the family. He was at my wedding. Uh, he uh, brings a ring. Uh, to my wife down uh, the aisle, and uh, he uh, he a dog. He as f as far as uh, as I am concerned, he he's a dog. And uh, I feed him dog food. I walk him. I take him to dog park. I wash him with dog shampoo. I feed him a dog food. He drink from a dog bowl. He's a dog. Is that right? He is a dog. Okay. I think he is yeah. a dog. It sounds like he thinks he's a dog as well. Yeah, he's, he, he is not a dog. Uh, yeah, well, you know, 
peak dog uh, you know same thing same thing you know like um, it's like a fish uh, you have a fish and then you have a bigger fish it's still fish little fish big fish they do the same thing they look different but it's a fish pig dog same thing sometimes dog behave like a pig Yes, um, so I bring him in and I, I show you, okay? I show you, do not decide yet. I know policy, policy, schmolicy, but I bring him in. I show you the pick and uh, then we decide, yes? It, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter, unfortunately. There is no, no facility manager here that can approve any sort of boarding for an animal other than a cat or a dog. Okay, okay. I'm 10 or 15 minutes uh, away. I bring him in and uh, we, we decide then, okay? I have a cash. I have a cash in my hand and uh, I show you the pig, okay? I know you I know you cannot say yes right now, but to you wait till you see my pig dog. It is uh, truly... Mm, beautiful, mm, beautiful, beautiful animal. And my wife is sick. My wife put vomit on floor. She cannot look after the pig. And I need to leave for work. Huh? You understand uh, my uh, problem? Huh? Yeah, no, I do. Um, but unfortunately, you're going to have to find another option for your pig. Wife is sick. Okay, I'll be there maybe five, ten minutes, okay? I uh, ring the opel, you come out front to see the pig, and then if you still want to say no, I leave, okay? I leave and no problem. But I uh, just want to show you my pig. Okay? Okay, no problem. Okay, I'll see you in ten or fifteen minutes, Alisa. You are a lovely girl, and I uh, love you, okay? Not a problem. Okay, I love you, darling. See you shortly. With a pig dog. My wife is sick. My fucking wife is sick. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna, she's gonna think that there's a fucking pig, some cunt coming with a pig. <laughs> <laughs> we should go there. Uh, where the B E S T B E S T B E S T B with B E S T B E S T B E S T B best. Yeah, we should go there, man. I think we are. Let's go. And I'll go with when they're because they're nearly closed now. But we should go there with Bosley. And be like, this is my pick. <laughs> yeah, that is not a bad idea. But then what if they take him and put him down? <laughs> no, you got to put him in properly. They won't just take him. But it's yeah. Fucked fuck how the world just goes on looks. <coughs> Isn't it? They're so strict with shit like that. But if you're a man who identifies as a woman, that's okay. But if you're a pig that identifies as a dog. Oh my God. It's all fucked. We just figured shit out. Animals should be able to do the same shit that we're doing now. If, if we can sue... They laugh at that logic? That's all I'm going to say. We should fucking sue that dog retreat for discrimination. Matt, what do you reckon? Get in the truck, Matt. Get the truck. Have you got a truck? Yeah. A ute. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. That's a fuck... There's a little thing to ponder on. Holy shit. I'll just leave you with a little uh, midnight thought. All right? Good night. Night thought. A night thought. A night thought. All right. Good job.